Dawn Frazier. Uh, it's my first holiday season in Brooklyn, and I'm really excited about it because I get to see snow for the first time. But I'm also really excited to go home because I live in California and I want to be warm. So I have everything packed up in my bag. I have my shoes, my tank tops, my flip flops, everything that I need, and I'm ready to go a couple days before my trip. But my mom calls, and um, my mom is from Trinidad and Tobago, and she calls me up and she's like, Donnie, you're coming home for Christmas, right? I was like, yeah, I'm coming home for Christmas. Why? What, what's up? She's like, well, I need you to do me a favor, right? I was like, okay, what's that? She said, go run down to this place on Nostrand Avenue, okay? You're going to pick up about 12 Jamaican patties. <laughs> six will be beef, six will be chicken. Then you're going to go run down, get two pounds of salt fish. You know, those big, big slabs of salt fish with salt on them? Pick up two pounds of salt fish. Then you must run to this place called Aldi's Roti Shop. It's in Queens, okay? You're going to pick up 24 roti skin, you're going to bring this all home. And I was like, wait, what? You want, me to, you want me to, mom, I live in Brooklyn. Why would I go to Queens? Like, that doesn't make any sense. She's like, no, but they have the best roti in all of New York City. So I was like, oh, okay, do, do I really need to do this? She's like, do you want a true Caribbean Christmas when you come home? I was like, yeah, I, I guess. She's like, then go do the thing now. I was like, all right, fine, fine, whatever, fine, I'll go do it, I'll go do it. So I, I pick up my stuff and I go and I run and I pick up the saltfish and the Jamaican patties and, you know, and I have no room in my luggage. I'm looking down and there's, there's no room. I, I have no room for my clothes. So I take out, everything, out of everything and my entire suitcase is now just food. <laughs> That's all it is. Tank top and some flip flops and a hat and my food. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I get to JFK Airport, and I go through the security line and take my five-hour flight to California. And I get there, and, you know, we're hanging out for a minute, me and my mom and everybody else. I'm like, Mom, you know, there's an app called Yelp. Um, I can find you Trinidadians in the Bay Area. I, I promise you. She's like, no, Don, it's not, it's not the same. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, Mom, look, we can drive to Oakland. There's black people there, right? <laughs> right? Yes? She's like, you just, you just don't get it, you just don't get it. I was like, all right, well, whatever. So the following year uh, was gonna be different. And I was really looking forward to a true Caribbean Christmas because we were going to Trinidad and Tobago. And it was gonna be epic because it was gonna be a Christmas, it was gonna be New Year's, and my cousin was getting married. So it was like the trilogy happening in Trinidad and Tobago. I was so excited, it was gonna be a real Caribbean Christmas. And so about a week prior to this trip, my mom calls me up and she's like, Don, you getting ready for Trinidad and Tobago? I was like, yeah, I'm getting ready. She's like, okay, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> I was like, all right, what now? She's like, you're gonna run down to the path mark on Nostrand Avenue. You're gonna pick up a 30 pound turkey, okay? You're gonna take this turkey, you're gonna put it in your freezer and put it in the freezer for about a good week and a half, okay? Take it out of the freezer and you're gonna bring that turkey with you to Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> and I said, mom, okay, hold up, time out, time out, mom, no, no, look. I mean, I understand bringing like Caribbean food to California, that's all good, but like, what is the deal? Like, don't they have turkeys in Trinidad? You know, she's like, yes, but they're small, you know, just kind of just, just, just bring the turkey, Don, just bring the turkey. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I can't believe she's always making me do this. So I go down to Pathmark, and here I go, once again, doing my mom's chores, packing up this turkey, wrapping it up, um, and the day comes for the flight. So to get to Trinidad, I have to put this turkey first on my bag. Uh, so it's once again taking up all my luggage. And, um, and I go from JFK Airport to Miami's airport. And then from Miami's airport, I get to Trinidad's airport. And by the time I get to Trinidad's airport, this turkey is no longer frozen. <laughs> it is dripping. It is not smelling all that great. <laughs> and so I walk up through the immigration line. I'm just praying. <laughs> oh my God, my mom's gonna kill me. My mom is gonna kill me. And they look at me and they're like, ma'am, do you have anything to declare? <laughs> I don't know what to say, so I just say, no. And they look at me and they're like, all right. 
and they stamp my passport and I'm gone. And I'm like, oh, sweet, this is perfect. But I'm not quite done yet. I still need to go on another plane, a two propeller jet from Trinidad to Tobago, and then from Tobago get on this two hour road to my mom's tiny little village called Charlottesville. And so I finally get there after this 14 hour journey and I take this turkey and it's dripping and I'm like, mom, here is your turkey, okay? Here's your turkey. She's like, oh good, you're here, you're here with the turkey, look. Your cousin came with the, with the pie. I was like, what? And I didn't realize that my cousin had come from Chicago with the wedding cake, a three-layer wedding cake. <laughs> and I said, how did you guys get this on the plane? They're like, oh, no problem. We just took up the entire thing. They just took up the entire plane. And my sister was like, and I have the ham. <laughs> and I stood there like laughing at myself, thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that this was like a thing. I didn't realize that this is like what we, what we do as, as a family. So, you know, last year when my mom called up and it was around Christmas time, she was like, Don, you're coming home for Christmas, right? And I was like, yeah, of course I am. And you know what? I have my suitcase and it's ready to be packed with a lot of love and a lot of food. <laughs> Thanks.